Don't be blinded to blessings. Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you, especially on this Thanksgiving Eve night. The, the thought or the nightlight is out of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5, where it says, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Let our conversation be without covetousness. Covetousness is a desire to have more, better, faster, stronger than we do have, and and being very discontented with what we have. I remember once seeing a a cartoonist who had drawn a, a picture of two mules that were entangled in a fence, and they were entangled in an unusual way. Each mule was standing in a lush, verdant green field. And yet each was sticking their head through the fence, eating grass in, out of the other mule's field. And of course, once they discovered they were stuck, they were thrashing around and tangling up. And, the, uh, and Brain and the cartoonist entitled the cartoon, Discontentment and discontented. And that's certainly us. I, I like what one author said about about this. He said, we, we face, uh, we're like these mules when we focus on what we don't have. We become blinded to the blessings which surround us. There's nothing wrong with desiring something greater, but to think life is easier for someone el- in someone else's pasture may not be true. Besides, no matter whose pasture we are in, We will always have to deal with the attitudes of our own heart. So if there's something more that you desire, perhaps one of the best ways to convince God that you actually uh, are somebody that could handle that desire coming to fruition in your life is if you are thankful for what you have. So it's okay to have aspirations, to be aspirational, and to hope to build a, a better life and to improve yourself. It is not, however, okay to live with a, a, a preeminent spirit of discontent. We've got to learn to be thankful for all that God has brought into our lives. And when we are, I think we open the windows of heaven to even greater blessing to be able to flow on us. So as you go into Thanksgiving tomorrow, what are you thankful for that God has brought into your life today? Make a list of things that you're thankful for and begin to repeat them to yourselves in prayer to God, thanking him for those wonderful blessings he's brought into your life. Don't be blinded to your blessings by discontentedness. Don't be a mule trying to eat grass in another field when you've got green grass right in your own field. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I do pray that you'd be with these dear ones under the sound of my voice. Give them strength. Give them courage. Give them a sense of contentedness as they go into tomorrow. Allow them to know that you have given them already all that they need, and you have that right in their life today. Help them begin to look around and not be blinded by by bitterness that's in their life. Help them not to be blinded to the blessings that you've given them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. You have a great night.